Hi guys, Liz here, aka Isabel Shiren. Welcome to Coffee with Isa. I'm really late with this and I'm only recording this like it's going to be recorded and then put out there. Um, and I, I normally sort of start recording something um, the day before I put it out, but I haven't had a chance because I've been really busy and um, life, you know, real life and stuff. Um, but also what I was going to talk about today, I'm not going to talk about today because I am furious. <laughs> yes, it's a rant. <laughs> I thought, well, you know what? I, I, I have other YouTube channels and I could put it on there, but no, I'm going to put it on this one because this one's related to my Twitter account and I've been tweeting them. So I might as well do it and then put it on Twitter. <laughs> so, okay. Last week I mentioned I was getting an upgrade to my mobile phone. So I had an iPhone 7 and under my refresh contract, I could get an iPhone XR. And I didn't realize I was due one and I thought, oh, this is exciting, I'm going to do that. So I went through the process of doing that and um, the company O2, O2 UK, um, offered £175 for my iPhone 128 gigabyte, mm -hmm, 128 gigabyte iPhone 7 in excellent condition um, that had just had the refresh battery from Apple so they'd seen the phone and they offered 175 uh, I could have declined it but um, you know and sold it on eBay but you know I'm not the best at selling on eBay I end up paying more than I um, you know make so I thought oh okay that 175 is quite good you know reasonable for a company and I accepted it I, I sent the product off on Thursday they send you a little bag and you put it in the bag and you send it back well I didn't trust that because it's an expensive item to me it's cost me a lot of money over time and I knew it was in an excellent condition so what I did was I actually wrapped it myself in bubble wrap and cloth to make it very secure then put it in the bag and really sealed it up and I took it to the post office and I, oh yeah by the way I took photos of it yeah so that's the other thing um, just to be sure in case anything goes wrong you know I can say oh yeah this is this was what the phone was like go to the post office and I insured it and sent it special delivery. I could have sent it the way O2 wanted it, but I thought, no, that's not secure. I want to send it special delivery. I want to know when it's signed for. So I sent it on Thursday for delivery on Friday. Well, no delivery on Friday. Saturday, they refused it. And today, Monday, they accept it. Now, the interesting part about that is, is that with this um, offer to pay, you've only got a certain window of time. And basically, they receive the phone, they look at it, and then they say, which is what they said in the email, um, we will put, transfer money to your account Wednesday, the 5th of December. So if I hadn't have responded back by the end of t tomorrow, um, I would have lost my iPhone. I still haven't got it back yet, by the way, because now I'm going to tell you this. So anyhow, what they do is they then send me an email and they say, thank you. There's been a revision during our grading process. The Apple iPhone 128 gigabyte, the quoted price, £175. We're giving you the revised price of £35. And then the notes say, screen damage, discoloured area on LCD shading. Now, there was absolutely nothing wrong with this phone. Can I just repeat? Absolutely nothing wrong with this phone. And if there was, Apple would have picked it up when their little technician guys were looking at it to make sure everything was okay. Um, this lot then, I don't know, I just thought this isn't right, so I googled it. And if you go and google the O2 um, people that do these, um, you know, recycling, everybody gets this back. Everybody gets this thing back about the LCD. Scam or what? It's plastered all over the internet. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to have a little moan and I'm going to use my coffee with this up. 
got nothing to do with the virtual world, but I'm going to use my coffee with Isa. I'm going to have a little moan, and then I'm going to tweet them with it. I've already tweeted them. I'm going to keep tweeting them with them. I'm going to tweet them. I'm going to Facebook them. I'm going to put it on every single site that they're on, because if you go and Google what they've been doing, it's absolutely disgusting. They use this company called O2 Recycle, which I believe takes phones from all companies. And what they do is they make a nice little kickback because they say, oh, we can't give you that because there's something wrong with your phone, even though there was nothing wrong with your phone. So anyhow, I've rung them and I've said, you send it back. Oh, we can send it back in five days. No, you send it back. I want it back. You send it back today. I should get it back tomorrow. Um, the lady was like, there's nothing. That you, 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 we've done the right thing. And I said, no, you haven't. There was nothing wrong with my phone. Um, and I said, it was seen in store. Now, I didn't tell her Apple. And she said, well, they wouldn't know. Well, a, Apple would know it's an Apple phone. Anyhow, I thought I'd just do this. I'm just doing this. And it's not your normal coffee with Isa. I'll do a normal coffee with Isa tomorrow. <laughs> But I just wanted to use this platform because, hey, enough people might listen on this particular YouTube channel than they would on the others that are quite dormant. Anyhow, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.